Today's video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? We are switching rooms again. Um, I just finished up with the kitchen, as you guys know. Then we went into the living room, and now we are making our way to the TV room for a little bit. And that is because there's going to be a little bit of, I guess, construction per se happening in the living room. Over the next couple of weeks, we're actually going to have the doors installed in here, and it might require a little bit of reframing. There's also going to be some painting going on. So in this space, there's going to just be a little bit of a time delay for those things to happen and I figured while those are happening why don't we go ahead and start on another project because I actually got word from the upholstery guy that's been upholstering my sofa that you guys saw the one that I actually got for free off the back of that truck Drew what are you doing um I'm just potentially taking this sofa that they're going to you know throw away yeah. I'm obsessed <laughs> it's giving wow They've been upholstering that sofa for about, I'd say, two and a half, three weeks or so, and I believe it's going to be done tomorrow for us to go take a look at, see it in person to make sure there's nothing that needs to be changed on it prior to them then delivering it back here. So I'm kind of shifting my design right now into the TV room. But let me take you guys down there so I can give you guys a little reminder um, on that space. All right, so we're downstairs. This is actually the entry door downstairs. And when you walk right through here, this is the room that we are going to be turning into the TV room. Now we need to pick all of the other finishes out for this space though. We have three really large windows here that lead out to the courtyard. They provide so much light and this actually faces the sunset. So in the afternoon, this gets beautiful, beautiful light coming in. And then these doors right here actually lead into the breakfast nook, which is really cute. I also love these doors. I think that they are original and they have some fluted glass which I'm sure isn't original and probably added after but this room I do not want to stay yellow um, it's just a little bit too pungent for me I actually was liking it when I first moved into the space I was like maybe I'll try to work with this yellow color like it's one of the colors I'll keep in the house but I don't think it's gonna go with our red toned couch it's giving very ketchup and mustard so I'm going to head to the fabric store right now get our little fabric swatch for the sofa because I actually don't have any of the fabric we had to order it so I'm gonna go grab a fabric swatch so we can start playing around with ideas, colors, and get everything kind of together for this space. Before heading to the fabric store, I'm going to set my Simply Safe. Now, all of you guys know I love my Simply Safe. It's right here. What was that? Is there an intruder? <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> Before intruders come, always make sure to set your Simply Safe. I'm just going to click away. I love my Simply Safe. I've had mine for years at my old apartment, at my house, and just make sure everything stays nice and protected. And if you've never heard of Simply Safe, where have you been? I have actually been sharing them on my channel for probably the past three years, actually, because they are my absolute favorite home security system. I just love how user-friendly and simple the Simply Safe system is. I think anyone can set it up. It is a breeze. It ships directly to your door, and you can actually set up and customize your very own system to make sure that every single entry sensor or you know all the different components you need for your home are available, and you can set them up properly throughout your space. And when I moved into my house, which is also a little bit on more of a central street, um, I wanted to make sure that it was also nice and secure. So I set up my Simply Safe system. They have monitors, entry sensors, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide, temperature, water. HD cameras for indoor and outdoor, they have every single little component that you need to create your very own customized home security system, but they also have 24-7 professional monitoring that is powered by Fast Protect technology that is exclusive at Simply Safe. So when a threat is detected, Simply Safe's monitoring professionals can promptly contact you and dispatch first responders, which is incredible because we want to make sure we stay nice and secure in our homes and all of our lovely decor and vintage items and pieces we've been curating and collecting over the years stay nice and secure as well. I mean, there really is no safe like Simply Safe. You can actually get 20% off your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month for free. Just visit simplysafe.com/lonefox to start customizing yours. Justin and I have a story time for you. Well, Justin has a story time for you. I was actually back home for the past, I think, two to three days. I don't know. It's a blur. I was shipping the vintage items from the vintage drop, which, by the way, the vintage drop did so well. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Everything sold out in, like, how long? Eight <laughs> minutes? So fast. <laughs> Ten minutes. So, me and Drew go on Facebook Marketplace all day, every day. Every send, single second of the day. We probably send each other at least five items each a day, but usually more. Mm-hmm. 
and I was on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this really cool armchair and it had like a unique shape. I have a pretty good eye. So we'll like- We'll pop it up here. Yeah, we'll put the picture. Um, and I was like, something is telling me that this chair could be cool. So I put it in Google Lens, which is our secret and I can't believe I just told you. Um, <laughs> I think I've told them that secret before. It was okay, in a hack video once. Google Lens, always smart. I put it in there, it popped up. Oh, the lady was asking $50 for it. And it popped up and I was looking through all these comps and like, I realized that this chair was like really crazy. Some of the comps were saying um, $8,000, some were saying $12,000, some were saying $40,000, some were saying $60,000. And then there was one that was a pair of the exact same chair that I have that sold for $220,000 for the pair. Of for the pair, but Justin has only one. I only have one and it has some rips in it. So like, but it can definitely be repaired. So I contacted Sotheby's, which is a big auction house, and they came back to me and they're like, this is a superb model. It's gorgeous <laughs> this is leather. It's astounding yeah. to have in your possession. They were using all these positive adjectives yeah. and they're like, we're meeting with our team and we'll get back to you tomorrow. So it's supposed to be today that they get a back meeting? to you. A meeting? A meeting? A team meeting with the 20th, <laughs> the 20th century furniture team. So our Facebook marketplace thing, has really paid off. Yeah, we need to do we need to do a video for you guys yeah. of all the best ways to look on Facebook. If you guys would like a hack video on how to shop vintage and antique, give this one a thumbs up. All right, guys, Jamie's given us the book. I feel like I'm like the double worst product right now when you hand over the book. Here's the book for you, sir. <laughs> Beautiful fabric. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow and look. Oh yeah, because. I want him to be there when you go, so he's, I know he has no women in the grave, and then he'll be the one, and I told him, make sure that you're going to be there when he's there. Okay, so come at one tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. We secured the book. Now to the paint store. So we are checking out these swatches at Sherwin-Williams right now. They actually have pretty good lighting here, so I think it's a good representation of the color. This is the fabric, of course, in the back, and this is the one I'm leaning more towards. It's called Rojo Marone by Sherwin-Williams. We have Carnelian here and then Turkish Coffee. I kind of like this one because it almost seems like a mix of these two. It has a little bit more red to it. This one's kind of leaning brown. This one also looks like kind of like that. And also guys, this is part of their historic collection, not sponsored, um, so it makes sense for an older home as well. All right, the room is cleared out. Um, the sun's actually setting, so we are going to be painting this into the night, but I'm actually pretty excited because that means tomorrow in the daylight we will have a little reveal, and I think we are going to be doing the ceiling as well in here. So it's gonna be pretty dark, as you guys know, but this is supposed to be like a moody theater room, kind of TV area. I'm very, very excited about it. I think it's gonna kind of make this room feel kind of encapsulated and really warm. Oh, wow. You can really see that red tone in there. This is such a pretty color, you guys. I know I've been gravitating a lot towards browns lately, but you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's totally fine. The beams I'm hoping are really still gonna pop against this color. The color is quite a bit darker than this, so I think these will have still a nice contrast, uh, but still be kind of tone on tone, which is what I'm going for in this room is a very tone on tone color palette. a little hard to tell on camera but all the walls throughout my home are actually completely plastered and they have this really really great kind of like natural plaster texture to them so something that you want to keep in mind if you do have really textured walls is to find a roller that has a very thick nap to it that way the paint can get into all the textured spots because I even tried to find one of the thickest ones and there were still a lot of areas of plaster that just had small little white dots um, of the original wall color I guess they would be yellow uh, small little yellow dots and you could easily see them through so that's just a great tip is if you are painting overly textured walls is just to ensure that you have the right roller for that.
In the mornings, I ended up taping off the windows. That way we can give a coat of primer to the vinyl section before painting it with the same color, just so it has some more grip. All right, guys, this is what the room is looking like this morning. The color is pretty vibrant at the moment because the light's on. And we're going to be doing a second coat on all of the walls, starting to tape off the beams up here and make these nice and clean. Because as you could see, there's kind of like this white chalkiness on the edge of the beam. So we're trying to figure out how to get it closest, the paint closest to it where it's not on the beam, but it also eliminates this white little edge there um so we're gonna work on that but we are about to go look at the sofa i got confirmation that we can go see it today just because they want to make sure that everything looks great prior to bringing it back here and needing any changes so we're gonna go head over to the showroom or the workshop and see the sofa oh my gosh you guys look how freaking good this looks oh my gosh i love it the pattern almost reads like as a solid. It looks like, doesn't it kind of look like a tweed or something from far back? Like a it really textural like, fabric. Yeah, it doesn't really look patterned. Patterned, until you get close and you can tell it's like this micro paisley it print. Like a stripe to it too. Right? Yeah, it's it so good. There's a stripe, oh my gosh, it's still so comfortable. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. This is the best couch I've ever seen in my life. I love it. Yeah, it has stripes. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. It's so good. I feel like with the I love mix, it. It it's so so pretty. Pretty. it holds so This is so pretty, you guys. Imagine this with the color on the walls. Like, he said that he's gonna make me some throw pillows, and he offered this mocha. It's beautiful. It's darker in person, though. I feel like on camera, it's coming off so saturated and bright. It's because it's shiny. Yeah, it's shiny. It's circle all... pillows. Like one I do like the circle. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. That's a designer piece. Yeah. What did you get something like that in the breakfast nook? I know. Oh! <laughs> breakfast nook bank cat from scratch. <laughs> That'd be so cool. And this one good from scratch. Wow. So, so we crazy. do from scratch and we post it. Oh, me? Wow. Well, I started when I was super young, like 10 years. Because my dad has his own shop in Mexico. Okay, so, so then you came out here. Yeah. So after school, like after do homework and eat, yeah, he called me to start to. I mean, Aww. easy things, but does your dad still do it? it? Yeah, he's oh, wow. uh, he helped me. Like, oh, this God, is me. Uh, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you need upholstery in Los Angeles new image upholstery they are the best they do custom furniture i was quoted up to ten thousand dollars for that sofa and they did an impeccable job 2500 all right the upholstery place happened to be by old good things and if you guys remember i found some sconces here that i just keep thinking about i keep thinking about them and i want to see if they still have them i'm gonna be so sad if they're gone oh, i think they're gone no! I'm pretty sure they're gone. I think they were on this wall right here. These are pretty though. Um, look at these, you guys. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's 12.50 for the pair? <gasps> Wait, is this a real light though? Oh. This is a, oh my gosh, this is a light. <gasps> I might even like this more than the other ones. I love those. It's the same price too, which I was, those are so good. Yeah, it is. Oh, the little dangle in the middle. Yeah, and it's old and it used to be for candles because you can tell because they like had to add the wire. Yeah. We just got back from looking at the couch. Look at the color right now. <gasps> it is just such a pretty like red toned maroon. And in some lights, in real life at the moment, it actually kind of looks purpley like a wine tone. Mm-hmm. 
It needs to be more exaggerated. Yeah, it does need to be a little bit more exaggerated. Is that good? Yeah. No, I'm gonna do it after you can see what it looks like. Yeah. This is called impromptu shoe. I shoot absolutely everything for the website myself. I am such a control freak over how everything looks, but look how cute the video turned out. I think it looks so nice on the homepage. Good morning. I have something exciting to share with you guys. The couch is here. I'm looking at the couch right now in the room with the pink color on the wall, and I have no words. I have no words. Are you kidding me right now? Is this real life? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is no filters, nothing. Look how absolutely stunning this looks in here. It is perfect. I love the color. I love the pattern. I love how small the pattern is because from far away, it makes the sofa almost look like a highly textured, like vintage tweed or something. As you get up close, it's more of like a ditzy print, like a super small, tiny print. And they just did such an impeccable job recovering this sofa. You guys, like, I cannot believe how incredible it looks and feels, the color in here. I also have to share it with you from this angle. This is a little look from inside the breakfast nook area, but oh my my gosh, it just looks so pretty. Like, it's not too dark. It truly just feels warm. It feels inviting. It feels cozy. Now, of course, I'm going to be swapping out this light fixture. This just drops far too low. Um, not too sure if I'm going to be keeping this one or potentially maybe trading it with a architectural salvage store for a different piece. Um, sometimes you could do that, so that's an option. I also still need to get a rug for this space. We need a coffee table for this space, which actually we could do a pretty substantial coffee table, it seems like. And then over on this side by the windows, I'm having some custom window mullions made, which I did in the upstairs, or muntins, as some of you guys also call them. They're going to be uh, just a six by two grid. So if you could imagine, there's going to be six panes um, down and then two across. And I'm gonna have those made for all three windows there. And then right here, we also have a little bit of space where I know the rug is not going to be because it's gonna be more in this general area. I'm thinking of doing like two little chairs with like a little table in the center. I think that would be really cute there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in front of those windows. Something about the colors in here just scream to me like moody oil paintings on the wall, like collected over the years. And I just want to add a couple to the space, some artwork. Of course, we're going to be doing some sort of TV situation here. That's the whole kind of purpose of the room, but I just love it. I love the color. I love the beams. I love, love, love the couch, and, but I honestly love it. I love it so much. And I hope that you guys do as well. I know that you're seeing a lot of brown in my space at the moment, but I will tell you guys, this is the last space that I'm probably going to have be brown. Now, of course, we have the kitchen cabinets brown. This is actually downstairs, so it's kind of like a different area in the home, completely separate. So I felt like since this was downstairs, I could go really bold with this dark maroon brown color, which I love. Again, this one's Rojo Maroon from Sherwin-Williams. In the morning time, when the sun isn't in here, it almost has this wine look to it, like a really dark purpley wine color. And then when the sun actually filters through as you guys can see now in the afternoon it has more of a red tone which is kind of more true to color which I like a lot because of course our sofa is also like a dark burgundy the sofa is a little bit darker in person I can tell on the screen right here it looks kind of bright but I swear to you guys it is so beautiful it's perfect I love it and I hope that you guys love this video I shifted focus from the living room down to this room and I think we probably will be working in this room until it's pretty much complete that way we have an actual TV space because I don't think I'm be putting a TV in the top living room anymore um, unless I do like a little easel or something simple in there so I want to have a space where we could have friends over hang out so I thought you know working on this especially with the couch being done was great so I hope that you guys love this video and also if you're in the market for a simply safe system do not forget to check them out and I want to thank them so much for sponsoring today's video and I will catch you guys all in my next one have an amazing rest of your day bye guys